symptomatic pathology deals with the diagnosis of uh, blood disorders and that includes lymphomas and leukemias and uh, these are pretty serious diagnoses. Hands-on approach starts with the fellow learning how to do the bone marrow biopsy procedure itself. They also learn how to look at a slide. We look at what, is called, what are called bone marrow aspirate slides and these are specimens that have been collected from patients' marrows who've suspected to have some serious blood disorder like leukemia, a lymphoma, or, a mild, or what we call a myelodysplastic syndrome. They end up dictating a report and then we will sit with them later in the day and go over the report with them, what they got right, what they got wrong, how to improve that in the future. Fellows come to Beaumont because our resources are vast. We're able to support the fellows training with our resources and ensure that when they complete our fellowship, not only will they complete their boards, but they will be ready for independent practice. One of the things that's unique about our lab is the number of tests that we do. So in addition to what we call our uh, hematolymphoid immunophenotyping, which is the malignant neoplasms, we do um, PNH, we do subsets, which most labs do. We do HLA B27, we do fetal hemoglobin, so we do a lot of flow cytometric testing that is typically sent out to other laboratories. Beaumont is one of the biggest health systems in Michigan and it receives a great volume of cases. And with respect to hematopathology, we receive about 1,000 bone marrows every year, about 500 to 600 lymph node biopsies. We see about 3,000 flow cytometry cases and an equal number of pathology consults. There are cases that we see that have never been previewed elsewhere, and we make very challenging diagnoses on these cases for the first time. And I think that's a great uh, plus for doing a, a fellowship here. What we're looking for for our fellowship is somebody who has a real passion for hematopathology because all of the faculty here really love hematopathology and so we want someone to come who really feels the way we do. I like to see someone who is motivated, who is a self-starter, who is very interested in hematopathology, very intent on what they want to do, someone who works well with other people, someone who is inquisitive, someone who doesn't just do the minimum but is willing to take the extra steps. Beyond that, the culture at Beaumont supports the development of the fellows. There's a close working relationship between the fellows and the faculty, and this creates the environment for the fellows to reach their full potential. We have a large group, but we all work together really well. We all are friends, we show cases, we feel very comfortable with each other, and the fellow is part of that and really um, can learn from all of us in a very collegial atmosphere. The lab administration lectures are very helpful. Beaumont has very good technical staff. I learned a lot in my rotation experiences in flow cytometry, coagulation, molecular, and cytogenetics. I work with the hematopathology fellows for a month. Um, and on that month, um, the, the month they spend with me, uh, we, we sort of tailor make, uh, customize their, their month, their, their experience. They learn all the various chromosome abnormalities and molecular abnormalities that are associated with hematolymphoid disorders, how to make the clinical correlations to uh, treat their patients accordingly. So when our fellows leave um, the fellowship here at Beaumont, we want them to be competent hematopathologists who can go out into the community, academics, anywhere, and function independently as competent hematopathologists. <laughs>